Good morning. I would be honored if I thought you were all up this early this morning to hear me speak, but I am checking off my bucket list this morning, being the warm-up act for one of our industry's rock star. I know you're all here to hear Sam, so let's get started. I've held the chairman's post for about four months, and every experience I've had tells me that ULI's value proposition is leadership, impact, and knowledge sharing. This value proposition is reflected in every offering of this fall meeting, making it time very well spent for all of us. What we are experiencing this week is the result of more than 18 months of planning by our dedicated member volunteers and our staff. A special thank you goes to the program committee led by Steve Navarro and Laura Lee Martin and to our wonderful host committee chaired by Terry Frankovich and Randy Rowe. Every fall meeting raises the bar for the next one and this one has certainly done that with substantive content and unparalleled networking opportunities. As my predecessor Peter Rummel loves to say, there's no place like a fall meeting for stealing great new ideas and making them your own. Once you attend a fall meeting, you keep coming back. Take longtime leader Bob Engstrom. This week marks Bob's 50th consecutive fall meeting, an incredible milestone. By now, you'd think that Bob had seen and heard it all, but Bob will tell you that he keeps coming back to see friends and just as important to learn something new. Bob, you inspire us all to keep making connections and keep learning. Thank you. We are meeting this week in a city with very strong roots in the history of our institute and our industry. 120 years ago, the Chicago's World Fair opened in this city. Perhaps the most exciting debut at the fair was the City Beautiful movement, which responded to urban decay and social unrest with a well-planned balance of buildings, open space, and transportation systems. The main organizer of the expo in City Beautiful was Daniel Burnham, who would later incorporate parts of the movement into his plan of Chicago. This great city, planned by one of the nation's greatest architects and urban designers, is where ULI was founded in 1936. It was started by entrepreneurs who were inspired by Burnham's work, who learned from it, and who went on to become ULI leaders. They made an impact with their work, they shared their knowledge to benefit their institute, their industry, and their communities. 77 years later, all of you, as entrepreneurs, as innovators, as leaders, are building on this legacy. That's the ULI value proposition, leadership, impact, and knowledge sharing. As your chairman, I'd like to share some thoughts on how we will enhance this value proposition to ensure that we are good stewards of your time and investment in ULI. First, leadership. A new initiative ULI launched this summer is presenting even more opportunities to demonstrate leadership. With this initiative of building healthy places, we are looking at community design, urban planning, and individual buildings through the lens of health and wellness. The need for healthier living environments is certainly well documented. Here are a few of the facts. 13 million school days are missed each year in the U.S. due to asthma-related illnesses. 23% of U.S. office workers experience symptoms of sick building syndrome and 52% of U.S. adults aged 46 to 64 get no physical activity on a regular basis. Declining health is connected directly or indirectly to land use decisions. 
decisions that we as ULI members can help change through our leadership. We will do this by harnessing the power of ULI's global network to spread the message that we can build our way to healthy communities. This emphasis on health will be threaded throughout ULI's program of work, including advisory service panels, Heinz Student Urban Design Competition, Urban Innovation Grants, and the Awards for Excellence. And we will host events focusing on the topic, starting with the ULI Building Healthy Places and the Bottom Line conference set for next February in Los Angeles. Each of these activities can serve as the basis for content that is shared further throughout the organization and which forges new partnerships. One example of this is a series of health-oriented advisory panels sponsored by the Colorado Health Foundation last spring. The work of those panels formed the basis for a ULI forum to create a new publication, 10 Principles for Building Healthy Places. This booklet combines tried and true fundamentals for sustainable communities with the new principles focused specifically on healthy living choices. It shows that much of what goes into making cities livable also makes them healthy. This experience led the Colorado Health Foundation to sign on to be a key partner with ULI in the Building Healthy Places initiative. 10 Principles is in the ULI bookstore this week, along with another new ULI publication, Intersections, Health, and the Built Environment. This report explores gl global health trends and makes the link between those trends and what has been happening to our built environment. I encourage you to pick up copies of both of these reports at the bookstore. What we've accomplished so far with this initiative is positioning us well for future work. And an important part of that will involve collecting research to support the business case, to show that building healthy places makes good business sense, just as you heard Mayor Rahm Emanuel say yesterday. I believe it is essential for ULI to emphasize the economic value of healthy places if we are to move the needle in a significant way. I'm excited about the potential of this initiative to stretch our leadership in the 21st century. With your participation, we can change the world, one building, one community at a time. Let me turn to ULI's impact. Over the past several years, ULI has made tremendous progress solidifying its reputation as a global organization committed to creating better communities. Each one of you has helped ULI to accomplish this by giving your expertise, your time, and your support. As your chairman, I want to build on this success by encouraging a stronger focus on ULI's impact by showing what's happening as a result of ULI being at the table presenting a new way of thinking that catalyzes positive change, by telling the story of ULI making an impact every day. ULI's impact is evident in the story of Charlotte, North Carolina, where a series of advisory panels and the ULI Rose Center helped Charlotte transform the city's growth patterns particularly in the area of transportation planning. ULI panelists encourage the city to build a light rail line, which has become highly successful. They emphasize the role of transit as a tool to spur economic development. Former Mayor Anthony Fox, a ULI Rose Center Fellow, worked closely with ULI to turn our recommendations into reality. His work caught the attention of the Obama administration, and he's now Secretary of the US Department of Transportation. And there's the story of Massachusetts, 
which now has legislation in place to incentivize the development of workforce housing near major employment centers throughout the state. This resulted in part from Twilliger Center research showing the lack of affordable housing near jobs, forcing many workers to make lengthy, expensive commutes. That's ULI at work. That's ULI's way of pushing the envelope with practical, powerful solutions that help communities prosper for generations to come. That's ULI's impact. Now I'll close with sharing some thoughts on knowledge sharing. I believe firmly that ULI's knowledge sharing process is the main driver of our impact. It's the value add for every meeting and every member connection wherever members interact. It's the key ingredient of every district and national council program. It's why every ULI conference in Asia, Europe, and the Americas is a must-attend event. Of course, knowledge sharing is also a big part of what goes on outside the meetings. It's in the day-to-day -day activities that go with being part of ULI. In this regard, it's a good bet that each of you in this room has contributed to the knowledge sharing process. Perhaps you have shared with a fellow member details on the financing of a project, or you described a mistake made and a lesson learned at a district council gathering, or you taught a young professional the value of taking a calculated risk. The point is, by speaking up as a ULI member, you are strengthening ULI's knowledge sharing. You are shaping decisions that ultimately lead to better communities. The time and talent you give ULI is what makes ULI's work so credible, so trusted, so valued around the world. You are the reason ULI is making a lasting difference. You are the reason ULI is making an impact every day. I'm very proud to be your chairman, and I want to hear from you. I want your ideas and input on keeping ULI at the forefront of real estate land use leadership. I urge you all to actively participate in the remainder of our fall meeting keep ULI's momentum going, and join us at ULI's spring meeting in Vancouver. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the meeting.